Hello and welcome to Lone Star Conference Hoops Week 2024 and the online presentation of Basketball Media Days. On behalf of the Lone Star Conference, I'm Matthew Camuzzi, Assistant Athletics Director for Marketing and Communications here at St. Mary's University. Thank you all for joining us today as we're joined by Head Men's Basketball Coach Bubba Meyer, Graduate Senior Forward Lachlan Boffinger, and Senior Forward Franklin Agu. Gentlemen, thanks for being here. Coach, we'll start with you with the preseason wrapping up now. What takeaways have you gathered from the team as you prepare for another season in the Lone Star Conference? Uh, takeaways, I mean, we've got 10 new people, so uh, every day is a new adventure when you roll out there. But um, they're hardworking, they're competitive, uh, they're buying into what we think are the things that are important to, to be consistent and win in the league. Um, and if we can just keep stacking up, you know, days and weeks of that as we're preparing with all these new guys and getting familiar with each other and understanding all the small things that matter um, when so many games in the league are won by you know, a handful of possessions. Uh, I think we'll you know, continue to make progress. Awesome, so this will be your second season in the Lone Star Conference as head coach, but you've been around the conference for a long time now. What have you learned so far about the level of competition you're going up against? Everybody will be really good every single night. There, we won't out prepare, out work, out, you know, think any of the other staffs. They're all going to do incredible jobs. Every team that we line up with will be just as talented as we are. Um, it's not like one group runs away with talent in this league. Everybody is good from top to bottom. Um, so you just line up there, and it comes down to. Most of the time, the teams that can have the discipline and execute uh, down the stretch, late in games, the, team, the teams that are really tight, care for each other, uh, and it matters to just a little bit more than the other group, um, those are the ones that usually win the games because they're, they're battles every single night. But the, the league is built to win um, in the postseason. If you've come through the league and you've had a successful year, you could probably go up with any other league in the country and you're every bit as good as anybody else that's there, if not better. Uh, so as far as the kids getting to play in that competition every single time, um, you know, the, the league just keeps getting better and it challenges them every single night, which as a player and as a competitor, that's what you want. As a coach and a competitor, that's what you want. Um, the facilities are, are great in the league from – you know, throughout the league, there's some really tough trips that you go to tough places uh, that aren't easy to get to. And you turn around, you play a good team on a Thursday, and you turn around and go to just a tough place on Saturday. And, and uh, you have, a, you know, 48 hours to get to a rest, to get turned around and ready to play. Uh, so the league is it's going to challenge you every single night out. So, Lachlan, for you, you closed out last season averaging in your double-double, 11.4 points per game, about 8.8 .8 rebounds per game. And now you're heading into this year as a Lone Star Conference Player of the Watch nominee. First off, how are you feeling coming into this season? And what part of your game really have you been working on over the off season? Yeah, um, you know, just over the summer, we, uh, we've just been trying to work on our individual skills. Um, you know, as you head into the year and preseason and go into the season like that, you kind of start to introduce like team concepts and you like learn who your teammates are and all that. Um, so over the summer, like, we've just been getting heaps of shots up, just working on our individual skills, been in the weight room a lot. Um, but it's been good, you know, it's been good. Um, I think, you know, there's no expectation for me. I think just like coach just wants me to work really hard and whether I get the same numbers or not, as long as we win, that's all that really matters. Franklin, now for you, you're coming into this year as one of the few true seniors on the team. Do you feel a sense of responsibility now, stepping into that role and being more of a vocal leader within the program, both on and off the court? Uh, I'd say a little bit, just being a player that was here last year and like getting a feel of the conference. And as Coach said, we have 10 new players as well. So I feel like my role is just to help them understand what the conference is about and then enforcing what Coach expects from us. And then also trying to find ways for us to win. For Lachlan, can you kind of describe the mindset of the team heading into the season? Yeah, well, like Coach was saying, you know, we've got a bunch of new guys, so we're all still kind of like learning how each other play, like finding new things out about each other and like building that chemistry. Um, but one thing that we all do have in common is that we all want to win. 
Um, we all practice like really hard, like we're all like sore after practice, like we're going, we're going at it. So I think that competitiveness really will separate us when the games come around. Coach, kind of back to you now. When you look at the season schedule, which non-conference games or tournaments excite you? Uh, well, obviously, you know, we've played those guys from Colorado enough to know that every time we play them, they're going to be really well coached, they're going to be really well prepared. Um, I have a ton of respect for both those programs and their coaching staffs. Uh, so going to Colorado is a, is a, a, a challenge. Uh, Regis and Colorado Mines will be very good quality RMAC opponents um, that, that are good enough to come in the Lone Star and, and compete every single night. Um, uh, so that one will be good. Um, the trip to Vegas that we will go play, we'll play Missouri S&T and we'll play Western Washington. Um, I don't know anything about those teams today, but I know from experience in the past when you go to Vegas or you go to Florida or you go to any of those big tournaments that only people go there that think they have a good team and they're going to test themselves about you know the, against the other teams that are around the country that also feel like they're pretty good. And so I'm sure that we're going to show up there and there's going to be two teams that are ready to get after it and compete. Uh, so I'm excited for that. I think it's great for our guys and for our program as we're continuing to try to like set goals for ourselves and build our way up to some of those that we get out there and we see some of the national level competition and what's out there not just from our league, uh, but the different style of play, the different quality of basketball from the different areas of the country. Uh, I think those you, you find out a lot about yourself in those situations. Awesome. And finally, wrapping this up here, Coach, when it's all said and done and you look back on the year, how do you define if this is, the season was a success or not? Uh, number one is continuing to build young people to, you know, these two guys, this is their their last bit of college, so they're finishing off and they're gonna go to the, the real world and adult life and start the next phase of their lives. Um, and then with, from that all the way to freshman kids we have that are, you know, this is their first time out of the house and away from mom and dad. And, and uh, so continue, a big part of it is continue to grow the people because that's really what St. Mary's is all about, is, is getting young people in here and growing and developing young people and they go out for the rest of their life, and this is a great stepping stone. So number one, it's that. Uh, having, enjoying the, the, the team, enjoying each other, building the relationships and the bonds that live out for lifetimes, which uh, I can tell you is a real thing here. Um, you know, we have a group message with like 130 former players that's in it, and they keep everybody up to date on everything going on in their worlds and their lives all the time. Uh, so. Continuing to build all of that, I think, is, is huge and, and important for the, for the program. And then getting into the league and, and being really well prepared and being a team that at, at the end of the league, people are going, you know, man, they're, they're tough and I don't want to see them in the conference tournament. Like, that's going to be a battle. So to have that, that type of team that we just continue to grow and build towards, um, you know, I want to look at February and people around the league go like, hey, I, that's uh, not the team I want to draw in the conference tournament. Well, thank you, Coach Meyer, Lachlan, Franklin, and good luck this season. Thank you, guys. Thanks for having us.